بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم ما بعد Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala is the most merciful, the most beneficent, the most merciful. As Allah Subhanahu wa Ta'ala says all throughout the Quran, uh, when we say Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Allah Tabarak wa Ta'ala, His mercy and His Rahmah is so encompassing. It encompasses those who believe in Him and those who disbelieve in Him. And that's from the Rahmah, the great mercy of Allah, the creator of the heavens and earth, the most merciful, Subhanahu. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, describes for himself Kattaba rabbukum ala nafsihi ar-rahmah Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran Your Lord has decreed upon himself mercy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the, the, the guardian and the most merciful and the most gracious to his creation Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says in kitabihi al-kareem that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala yeah, but Allah is the best guardian and He is the most merciful of the merciful so no, no, no one's mercy is like Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's mercy tabarakah wa ta'ala wa kan Allahu gufura rahima and verily uh, Allah is ever forgiving and merciful this is from the ni'mah that he is merciful to his creation. No matter how disobedient we fall into sins, we fall into uh, harming one another, we fall into killing one another even. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had his infinite grace, mercy, and favor, still has mercy upon us. And many many of the cre uh, creation, أَكْثَرُهُمْ la yu'minun. Most of them, they don't believe in Allah. Most of them, they don't have correct understanding of who Allah is and worship and how to worship Him properly, or nor do they worship Him properly, subhanahu wa ta'ala. But yet Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is still merciful to them. He still gives them the, the sun, the moon, and the, the stars as, as guidance and as a as a, as a, uh, as sustenance. And that sustenance comes from light and sustenance comes from rain and sustenance comes and we breathe the air and, and all the natural beauty that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us. That's from his rahmah. That's the ni'mah from our Lord, our Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is Rahim. You know, he is, he is a special mercy for the believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Wa kana bil mu'minina rahima. Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, And ever is he to the believers merciful. So that is the kind of mercy, Rahim, as some of the scholars, they, they uh, explain that Rahim has to do with the mercy which is specifically for the believer. Those Ahl al those people who worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, and they do Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's bidding. And then Rahmah is general. Rahmah encompasses those who disbelieve in Allah and those who believe in Allah. Those who are obedient to Allah and those who are disobedient to Allah. So those are the difference between Ar-Rahman and Rahim. And those are both characteristics, divine characteristics of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there is nothing and no one comparable to Allah, to Baraka wa ta'ala. And we ask Allah the Almighty from His, uh, his Asma'i was Al-Husna to continue to give us mercy and continue to give us forgiveness for the many sins and acts of disobedience that we do. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Muhammad.